Hey, what's up? Just got home from doing a really cool little case study of an off-grid system for my friend's house. Him and his family live in it. Single family home, but it is all off-grid. And these are the kind of systems that I really love. They really get me excited. Uh, luxury solar is cool and all, and that really pays the bills. But these are the ones that really give me the fulfillment and joy of uh, the industry that we live. It's done by my good friend Rama. He's been one of my gurus in the solar industry since I first joined, probably about 15 years ago. Installation was done with, in collaboration with him and his team and the Rising Sun crew. The system is recycled panels, old sharp, low 200 watt panels, a bunch of them on a SMA inverter. And then it's then fed for battery backup with two Tesla power walls and a gateway. The communications on those systems is done through Starlink because they're so far off the grid. It's just way too far to be doing any piping and trenching and uh, power pole installations. Um, they do water catchment, solar hot water, obviously that goes with it. He's a hot water guru. So hope you enjoy. These are the kind of jobs I just love to showcase and um, hope you enjoy as much as I do. Allah. I'm Sean Lopez. I sell solar panels and batteries for a living and I serve big waves for fun. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. Follow along as I help the world accelerate the adoption of renewable energy and sustainable living. Aloha. Yeah, this is a bitch of a little system, man. It never fails, man. You can see up there. Let's see. You can see it again. Uh, yeah, we got the hot water panels. Yeah. And so, then all the water catchment, solar, batteries, uh, Starlink. That sexy little combo. Starlink, hot water, and solar panels yeah, I know, with batteries. Beautiful, that man. is cool, man. So break it down. So what, so give me your little the you got, inventory uh, of what the system is. 30 uh, sharps, 235s. Okay. And these guys are recycled already. Like, I just gave them to me. Like, okay. so these are like 10 years old already. I'm doing that at my house right now. Yeah. I'm going to get the old Sun Power 327s. Fuck, oh, even we're doing the courses like 20 years ago. Yep. There was panels that were already 40 years old working, still mm -hmm. working. Yeah. They were just working at 80% capacity, but still, that's huge, man. Yeah. So anyway, these are all used. Where did these ones come from? Uh, Monroe. Uh, remember uh, Hammer's Communications? Yep. Yeah. From no there. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we had to wash them. They're like super nasty, man. Yeah. You know, and then we kept them on the side of the house forever. So anyway, boom, that's it. And it goes into the, the we got a 7K inverter just in case because like, you know. SMA inverter. SMA inverter yep. just to have like not so much heat. Yeah. You always want to kind of like make it. Yeah. If you can make it a little bigger, yeah. make it bigger. You know. I've been to those uh, ones where yeah. you're, you're at 120% of that inverter. Yeah, Things just coming. Like it, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no, no. So it's a little larger. And then it goes into the two Teslas. Yeah. And each one I think is 6K. 13 and a half kilowatt hours. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's a ton of. And then, and the last piece of the, the puzzle is obviously the and Starlink. You have the Starlink. I like that little rack and rails for the Starlink. Yeah, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna get fancy with it, man. You know, it's on the S5s, uh, and it's like, you know, we had huge cone of winds this winter, uh -huh. and that thing didn't even move. Wow. I would come out in the storm, be like, man, like it's all gonna fall apart. This thing is like boop, there. Wow. Just some spiders, you know. Uh -huh. Haiku, man. Haiku. Yeah, and then uh, the water is like those two panels, yep. three by eights. Usually Haiku would be four by eights, but because we have a catchment and the water is like, you know, higher temperature, mm -hmm. we can do three by eights. Okay. And then the backup. Works good. 
Works okay. good. It's a it's a Paloma, man. You know, simple, like the smallest real you know, on the menu you can get. So we said when it does, when the... When this is not enough heat. Yeah. So the way I piped it is cold, uh, cold goes into the tank and then from the hot of the tank, it goes to the cold here. Okay. So if this is sensing, you know, heat, it's not gonna turn on. Gotcha. Know? Because it's like water coming over 125 degrees. Yeah, mine right now is almost too hot, my house. Your house. <laughs> Yeah, it happens, man. That's why I downsized that. I was like, I'll, I'll make it the smallest I can make it for the panels. Okay. And then from here, it goes to the house. All right. And the last, last bit of the, is the batteries. And the... Yeah, the batteries look beautiful, man. They're kind of dirty now, but Ooh. I love them. They're my babies, man. Sexy. Yeah. And then you come here at night, and they're all, like, all green on the side. And you're like, oh, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you watch those movies that they show you, like, a futuristic... Yeah, but kind of like not so futuristic life, you know, like um, interstellar. Yep. That everything's kind of shady, but super technological. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I it, I go it's it. like, look, man, like the fucking Jeep, you know, it's like super old school, like whatever. But then you have like this off the grid, like super beautiful batteries. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and they work. Bitch, man. Yeah, That'd it's be super real. Cool. Yeah. Stoked. Yeah. I love it. I would always. Yeah, beautiful system we got here. This yeah. is pro proper off grid. This yeah, is, this is when it's done right. Super nice. It's like this windows they came from my friend in LA. It's like I got some cool windows, man. I was like, okay, he shipped them over. This one, that one, this one, and the top one. Okay. Cool. Man. Some recycled and most not. Yeah. And all elevated too. Yeah. For the for the bugs. How's the deer? Oh, dude, every night. Oh, oh, oh. So with those 6KW and the two batteries on a on a good sunny day, when is the, those batteries getting to 100%? We're only using 20%, so you know we never tap them all the way down. Gotcha. Like, the only time we tapped them <laughs> is our friend gave us a shitty fr uh, fridge. <laughs> Dude. Inefficient, dude. The thing was humming all night. I'm like, I'm like, babe, I don't think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna drain the batteries, and it did. Oh. It did. But the thing was like, like humming all night, like hardcore. And then it took like probably within. Ah, oh, that's a good test. Yeah, by eleven we we're operating. So, you know, gotcha. Three, four hours maybe. Okay. I'd say. Cool. I think the key is. Kind of like double up. Yep. We could have been fine with one battery. Yep. But you know, you're, you're like, I feel like we're keeping too longer. I don't know. Gotcha. And well, we, I mean, it, too. You know? Yeah. And then I mean, being that it's off grid, like, you don't. There's. Yeah. That's what. That is what you get. It's it's everything. Yeah. You know, next thing would be like having a, a cool tie-in generator. This is proper off-grid living. It's it's resource management, right? More than anything. Yeah, totally, man. Like it's not it's not just like living off-grid. It's like managing your resources. You yeah. manage your sun. You manage your water. Everything. You're like the rains are happy. It's sunny. You're stoked. Yeah. You know. To so talk about Elon. Tell Elon's the man. Dude. <laughs> he's he's our friend, brother. So, so tell me, yeah. or, tell me about your Starlink experience. So, or Starlink. You know, I wanted to like a long time ago. Uh, this nerd approached me, and he's like, "Do you do Starlink?" And I'm like, "What the hell, is Starlink?" It's like it's gonna be the new internet. This is a long, long time yeah. ago. Uh, a nerd that was changing iPhone, um, you know, like uh, screens. You uh -huh. would replace them. It's like you should get into that, man, because we're gonna be looking for people that do solar. So I got into it, but it wasn't even anything. It was like just the beginning, yeah. you know? And uh, I was like, dude, when it comes out, I'm gonna get it. And it coincided with like us getting the house and look, man, like the road is way, the way, way, it'd be like, it was like $40,000 to get internet. Like what? Yeah. We got this 500 bucks, five something. Yep. I put it up, I run the cable, I hit it, you know, along the gutter, hooked it up, it was on. It seems stupid, man. Yep. You can like everybody can be like three of us can be watching all different movies or doing things on the internet. And nothing fails, man. It's yeah, like, those little remote towns now, like in Costa Rica, those little surf spots. If you have your own little Starlink, it's you, crazy. you get all the work done. It's crazy. Yeah.
it's, so, it's like independent. I, I'm stoked, man. Yeah, this is a it, bitch of a little system, it, man. It never fails, man. You can see up there. Let's see. You can see it again. Uh, yeah, we got the hot water panels. Yeah. And so, all the water catchment, solar, batteries, uh, Starlink. So the water goes down over there. It goes to, the pipe goes all the way to the bottom of the tank. Okay. And it comes off the bottom. So there's no piping around. Mm-hmm. Because that's how rats get in yep. and, you know, everything. So all the piping is underneath. So this pipe runs to like, you know, three feet from the edge of the tank, goes up and it's like two feet lower than the gutter. Yep. So as long as it's like below the gutter, the water's the gonna wanna, yeah, it's just gonna push pressure it up. Pressure does what it needs to do. So it goes out that way. And then there's a little pump out. Yeah. The, that's a pipe that comes from the water tank from okay. underneath. You know, yep. It goes under, goes up this way. You get the pump. I got a valve over there and then a valve over there. I need to isolate it and the pressure before it goes into the expansion tank, you know? So we'll go into the expansion tank, pressurize it. So that way your pump is not working all the time, mm. you know? So this will give you like, like a shower by itself. Gotcha. It goes here to the three uh, filter system, you know, it's yep. like carbon and then this two for sediment. Yep. Into the ultraviolet, uh, you know, light for um, what you call this. Uh, yeah, all the bacteria. Yep. And then another gauge to check it out after everything goes boom, back to the house. Charging too. Gotcha. And um, you obviously you did all the work yourself and yeah. all that stuff. And yeah. Well, so, Matias and these guys did the, the, the actual electrical. hookup for okay. the batteries. Okay. Everything else we hooked it up ourselves. It, being that it was off grid permits or any of that shit. Oh uh, yeah, we pulled permits for everything. Everything's permitted. Off grid. Like the whole house, everything. Okay. It's it's like almost, you know, like half an inch below the edge, and yep. it comes out here. Gotcha. Boom. This is proper off-grid living. It's it's resource management, right? More than anything. Yeah, totally, man. Like it's not it's not just like living off-grid. It's like managing your resources. You yeah. manage your sun. You manage your water. Everything. You're like your rains are happy. It's sunny. You're stoked. Yeah. You know. Tell me about those big winter days, though. How, how was it like in when? It was perfect, man. Like um, I was. But like know, I built a house, so I was like. I hope I put enough straps. <laughs> but as far as like the, the cloudy days and the, the oh, non-sunny days? We never ran out of power, man, in the whole winter. And it was a pretty rough, you know, it was a pretty, let's go over there. Okay. It was it was a pretty rough winter as far as like rain. Yeah. There was a ton of rain. Um, but I mean, you're just more careful. You yep. wash less or you just, you know. Yeah. Or you do, but I mean, not really, man. Like we didn't really like, get too nuts with the savings because you know mm -hmm. those batteries like now we only use 20 percent. imagine we had like another 80 to go gotcha that's so much these windows they came from my friend in la he's like i got some cool windows man i was like okay he shipped them over this one that one this one and the top one okay cool, yeah. some recycled and most not you know and all elevated too. Yeah. For the for the bugs. How's the deer? Oh, dude. Every night. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm doing like the opposite. I'm putting like nine KW worth of panels. Nice. Just because he's giving them to me. Yeah. And then I'm just putting one battery. But you're not off grid. I'm not off grid. Yeah. I only literally probably need like a two KW. Yeah. So I was like, it's okay, well, we're boundaries. just gonna we're gonna we're gonna crank the AC in That's the middle of the day. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Then then it's like you don't feel guilty about any of that. Yeah. You know, you feel like yeah, it's not you're not abusing anything. Just that's a, I mean for me that's the other thing too. You're like you're not your footprint is minimal. 